There's a new way to get around the Salt Lake Valley, all thanks to a partnership between UTA and a company called VIA. Our tech reporter Jordan Hogan joins us live in studio right now to explain what this is and how it works. Good morning, Jordan. Good morning, Amy and John. VIA is an app that's kind of like Uber and Lyft and it will get you to and from a tracks or front runner station for a small fee. The catch is it's only available in the southern part of the Salt Lake County Valley. Getting from the train and to your front door is about to get a bit easier, all thanks to a new program that just started up. UTA is working with VIA to test out a new service in southern Salt Lake County called UTA On Demand. It covers Bluffdale, Draper, Harriman, Riverton and South Jordan. Not everyone can drive, not everyone either afford to drive from a mobility perspective can drive, wants to drive, so it's really important to be able to have alternative options. This is where the new service comes into play. It helps bridge the gap between the first mile and last mile of your journey. That's always been kind of the issue. The first and last mile is something we've grappled with. Whether it be to work, school, home or any other destination, just as long as it starts, and ends in the service area that's highlighted in blue. This is an area that's harder to serve. We have newer development, we have expanding areas, we have a lot of growth, and I think this is an innovative way to get people where they need to be. You can use the VIA app or call a number to book your ride. In the app, you just select how many passengers there are, where you're going from, and then where you're going to. Then the app finds you a ride. After you book the ride, the app will display the pickup location where the VIA vehicle will meet you. UTA says the idea of this partnership is to give people a broader reach using the public transit we already have. If they need to get to a doctor's office, a grocery store, a library, whatever it may mean they need, this provides them an opportunity to use public transportation to do that. In order for it to expand though, it needs to succeed. Now this is a one-year pilot program. It's funded by Salt Lake County sales tax dollars and if all goes well, it can expand, but you have to let your local mayoral people say, hey, we really want this and it will help. So. Yeah, it's kind of like an Uber or a Lyft, but it much is. cheaper. It is. It's much cheaper and they subsidize it at first. So it's about one to two dollars for now. And then they okay. said it will go up over time. I think it's max five dollars. Give a lot of people but some access. It will. It will help bridge that little gap. So. Okay.